and welcome to Dits on YouTube and you are here for another WrestleCrate review. This time it's the February 2020 edition. But before we get into that, I got two things for you. Number one is beneficial to you and that is if you're a new subscriber to WrestleCrate. If you use the code Dits on Wrestling, which is somewhere on the screen right now, you'll bag yourself a free autographed print. So those really high quality prints that you get with this crate, you will get one on the house, courtesy of me and WrestleCrate. So use the code DITS on Wrestling, and that's yours. New subscribers. Um, the second thing is actually really, really sad. Um, so this is a figure I received two months ago, I think it is. We've had a decapitation here in Dalpod HQ. It's sad. I, my, my son got hold of it and the fun is officially over. So I'll glue it. But it's still very, very sad because I like that figure. It was my favorite one. But there you go. No need for the doom and gloom. Let's get into this WrestleCrate review. Now, as you know, this is one of my favorite times of the month because there's always a great amount of, of goodies in here for me to enjoy. This month is no different. This is a great crate once again. And I'm going to try in this video, I'm going to try and stop saying fantastic because I actually watched back a couple of the reviews that I've done so far. And I use that word far too much, even though it's the perfect word to describe this crate. I'm going to try and not say it. It's going to be tough, but I'm going to try and not say it. Let's count along. It's just watch it and how many times I say fantastic and um, just pick me up for it. Call me out because I'm sick of saying the word. I just keep saying it. Um, this crate, I wish I could have reviewed it a lot sooner, but I was away on holiday. And then I was also really ill and the delivery didn't come until this weekend just gone. So I'm a week out, but don't worry. Let's just get into it. Um, so the first one, or the first, uh, I haven't actually, usually, I, d I don't do unboxings like quite a lot of people where when they open the crate and go through it, it's the first time they're seeing what's in there. Um, I've already gone through this crate, and I know what's in there, apart from what is in this tube. I'm a well, it's a poster, I can see that. Um, but let's have a look at it. Nice. Pentagon. Nice little poster there. Scare the kids. They'll love that. I dig. I dig. I think this is the second time we received a poster from WrestleCrate. I think I believe the first one, well, the one I've received anyway. Um, you know, obviously there's people that have been doing this a lot longer than I have. Um, I think it was Shawn Michaels, the first one I received. And now I have a Pentagon one as well. I'm happy with that. It can go on my... I, obviously, you still... You still, regardless of me pointing, you still can't see what's up there. I'll, I'll, I'll show you at the end of the video what I've got going on here. The All the autograph prints that I've got from WrestleCrate are starting to slowly make their way onto my wall now, which is great. So it looks good up there. That's going to join them. And maybe I'll meet Pentagon one day and get him to sign it. There you go. How about that? Um, pins. Pins, pins, pins. I love this pin. Purely because the Monday Night Wars is something that truly fascinated me. I, I, I wasn't really... I was too young at the time that it was going on to really understand what was going on with it. Um, and to be truly invested in it. The Ruthless Aggression era was like my era. That was my time that I really sunk my teeth into wrestling. Um, however, I've since gone back and watched like the series on the network. And then just a number of things. Just, just stuff that you know as a wrestling fan. And... Um, this pin kind of commemorates that. So, the Monday Night Wars. Again, as always with these pins, you get a normal one and you get a rare. Unfortunately, I didn't get the rare this time. Um, but actually, I don't mind because I quite like this. It's, uh, I need somewhere to put these pins. So much wall space in here. I'll, fi I'll find a place. Love that pin. Um... The stickers, um, this one is the OJMO, um, it was a t-shirt from, it seems like a long time ago, 
since I last did the crate. I think this was a t-shirt from last month, um, the OJMO. I haven't actually worn this t-shirt yet. There's, I think there's a couple of t-shirts I haven't actually worn yet, apart from when I was doing my little magic, which I'm not going to do anymore. I ain't a performing monkey. I ain't going to do that. OJMO sticker. Winner. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with these stickers, but I'll find something to do with them. Maybe I'll stick them on this desk. That's a good idea, actually. Note to self. Um, subscription. You always get a subscription with um, WrestleCrate, and this month is no different. This one is AAW On Demand, um, exclusive to WrestleCrate UK customers, and it gives you one month free trial. And just looking at some of the stuff on here... Um, there seems to be some pretty decent shows with some pretty good wrestlers on here, so I might actually go and check this out. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check that out, because I can, because of WrestleCrate giving me great little codes and freebies like that. Got to take advantage. Um, Calling Spots magazine, this is always one of my favourite magazines that comes with the crate. Um, Wrestle Talk is another one that you usually get, but Colin Spots is the mountain, the top. Um, Justin Liger on the front. Um, so there's obviously going to be something about him in here. And I probably reference his um, recent retirement. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And then there's there's always a host of good stuff in these magazines. So I'm looking to sink, looking forward sink my teeth into it. Uh, NXT as well, from developmental system to WWE's third brand. Big fan of NXT, big fan of this magazine. Going to enjoy reading that when I'm having my private time. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, this was a nice surprise. I actually quite like this. And this, again, is just like the Pentagon poster is something that I would love to get signed. Um, it's a little um, photo from the Royal Rumble, Edge's return. There you go. Um, yeah, and on the back, Edge returns, Royal Rumble 2020, entrant number 21, Minute Maid Park, Houston, Texas. What a night. 26th of Jan 2020. That's how 26th of Jan 2020. It's month, like month and a little bit already. Crazy. Um, this was such a really really cool moment for me as a fan for so many other people um of fans of wrestling i i i've i mention it on my show all the time i i probably get about four maybe five pops a year when it comes to wrestling like genuine pops that actually make me like audibly say something or a noise or gets me up on my feet this was one of them so if i can somehow get this signed by the man himself. Achievement unlocked. That's a tough ask, but I, I when am I ever gonna meet Edge? Bit of miles between us. Might not work. Um DVD this month is actually really, really good. Um it's Eve, um, Wrestle Queendom numero two, and some some of the people on this card and some of the matches, you got Kaylee Ray versus Viper. Um, you've got Sue Young versus uh, Session Goff Martina, um, Laura Di Matteo versus Jordan Grace. You know, there's so many good matches on here, um, and I've never watched Eve before. This is my in that I can take advantage of. This I'm gonna hook it up on the Xbox over there. Um, I'm gonna give it a watch. Because women's wrestling is great, guys. Especially now in 2020. Okay, so next in the crate is... Of course, I stress this all the time. It is one of the best moments whilst reviewing this crate. Because you guys get to see magic. But no more! The magic stops now. There will be no more magic. I'm not a performing monkey. I refuse to do it. So you're going to look at the t-shirt. You're going to admire the t-shirt. And then I'm just going to throw it to one side. Just like I do with everything else. It's not happening. However, it is a great t-shirt. It is a lucky kid t-shirt. And honestly, it might actually be one of my favorite t-shirts that I've received so far with, with WrestleCrate. Now, 
I don't usually do white t-shirts, they don't really suit me, um, but it's quite cutesy. It's quite a little cutesy t-shirt. I really, I really like it. Of course, you're not going to see me wear it, so sorry, but not sorry. But yeah, I really, really dig this. And you know what? I might, I might just wear it after I finish recording. So you guys don't get to... <sighs> it's not a gift. It's a curse. I, I honestly can't win. Last, last month I had the error of putting the bloody wrong t-shirt on and now I refuse to do magic for you and it still happens I it's, it's not happening again no I refuse to let magic happen everyone does the magic on these WrestleCrate reviews I'm not going to be that guy I'm not going to dance to your tune no more god so annoyed but at least the t-shirt looks good though, right? Look at it. Love it. And now, I guess I'm wearing it for the rest of this review. Against my will. Kind of. I love it. It's not against my will, really. Um, but let's, let's have some cheering up. Let's get rid of the, the negative mood in here. And go for the... One of the... Best items I've ever received in a wrestle crate. Um, it is, of course, an autograph print, and it is my favorite autograph print that I've had with Wrestle Crate UK since I started in May last year, whenever it was. Finn Balor, and not just Finn Balor, Demon Finn Balor, and it's signed as well. Great artwork, great signature. Um, it can go with my other Finn Balor signature that I have. Um, this one actually, th that one got sun kissed, which is disappointing. So a lot of the marker that he used is gone, which is disappointing. But it doesn't matter because I can use this one now to show off when none of my friends come over. <laughs> Great print. Like I said. This might just be my favourite yet. And that's competition as well. You had Bret Hart, we've had Shawn Michaels, we've had Terry Funk, we've had MGF, David Starr, Kip Sabian. We've had so many great signatures within WrestleCrate so far, and they're only said to get better. Um, yeah, this might just be the best of the bunch. And it will go up on that wall very, very soon. Um, love that. But that is not it. For autographs this month. Another great one coming right at you. Eddie Kingston. NWA Power. Uh, that's where I know him from anyway. Um, great print. Great signature. Always, always top quality. And I know I've mentioned it already. But use that code DITS on Wrestling if you are a new subscriber. And you could potentially get that Finn Balor print. Or you could get an Eddie Kingston print. Or... Any of the ones I just mentioned. Um, really good print that. Really happy with that. Again, that's going to find its way up on the wall. Very happy with the autographs this month. Very happy. Um, and then that leads us to the the usual WrestleCrate UK, like little summary magazine kind of thing. Got Finn Balor on the front. My wife would go nuts at seeing that. She, she loves that pose. Shame I can't pull that off. It's so depressing, this episode. Ah. Um, have I got everything right? Yes. You. I, I think there's a few times where I've got people wrong or I just haven't recognised them. Not this time. I did my research too far. I read this before I start recording. Always improving. Always getting better. Huh? Make up for that sneeze earlier in the era last month. Do your research. Um, what is always good about this, though, is that we get a little sneak peek for what's coming in the next month's crate. So this is March's crate, and we have none other than AEW champion, new AEW champion, John Moxley. A John Moxley item 
is going to be in WrestleCrate UK next month. Very, very excited about that. I don't know what it's going to be. Don't know if it's going to be a t-shirt. Don't know if it's going to be an autograph print. That would be amazing. Um, but not only that, Jordan Devlin is a guy that I have hyped up on my show in recent months quite a lot. Big fan of Jordan Devlin. Starting to really discover his back catalogue now of matches. He's so, so good. He's one of my favourites. He's in my top five wrestlers in the world right now. Um, and he will also have an item in WrestleCrate next month as well. And not only that, I believe this is for the March Crate as well. Um, WrestleCrate have been hyping up a um, an item. I think it might. I think it actually might be an autograph from somebody who is a former WCW champion and a former WWE champion. And um, there are other clues as well, but I can't remember what they were. I think my guess was Booker T. And if it's Booker T, that's cool. But it's probably not going to be Booker T. It probably be somebody else. But it doesn't matter because it's still. There's going to be a signature on this wall that is from somebody who's been WCW champion and somebody that's been WWE champion. That's cool, as far as I'm concerned. Very cool. And we're at that sad point now where I make that noise and scratch the bottom of this crate. There is nothing left in there. <sighs> it's sad. I hate this moment. However, it's only two and a half weeks until the next crate comes along. Um, and I honestly cannot stress how great this thing i nearly said fantastic then nearly said fantastic now i've said it twice but I, I don't know how many times i said it in this video honestly saying that word really drives me nuts and it's something i always say on wrestle create reviews the, the word fits it perfectly it does it really does but i'm sick of saying it i wonder how many times i said it in this video i i'm not sure i don't remember saying it i would have picked up on it if i did if you've counted along then just throw it in the comments and just Mug me off. Just mug me off. I don't really care. Just mug me off. Always, always a great crate. And do not forget to use that code DITS on Wrestling if you're a new subscriber to the crate and bag yourself a free autographed print on me on WrestleCrate. Do it. It's a free item. Us Brits love free. Although I did find out that WrestleCrate delivers to Australia too, which was bizarre. I, know, I saw one of my good friends um, got a wrestle crate and he's over in Australia and uh, yeah, it surprised me. So if you're watching this and you're from Australia as well then, and you're thinking about signing up, sign up and use that code. You get a free autograph print. I'm the gift that keeps on giving. I really am. I really am. Um, but that is the uh, that is the wrestle crate review for February 2020. We are not that far away from March 2020's crate. Really, really really looking forward to it not long now guys and it will be this time it the review will come out straight away rather than waiting a week for it to drop because by now everybody has probably received it it's actually probably not a bad thing everyone's received their crates now so i'm not spoiling anything for anybody so i guess there is that consider it the gift that keeps that keeps on giving and i'm considerate i am i'm firing on all cylinders right now yeah <laughs> thanks thanks so much for watching guys as always um and i'll see you on that next wrestle crate review who who signs off with that see you next time